All right, we are back to my favorite scuffed port, uh, <laughs> which is Ratchet and Clank uh, up your arsenal in the PS3 collection. I'm going to do something dangerous here and expand my window a little bit. I can no I notice that it's not lining up perfectly in the capture. Hold on. Hold on. I know what I've done here. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Cool. Yeah, back to my favorite scuffed capture. You know, it doesn't look as bad in the capture as it does in the recording, I don't think. Maybe a little bit. It's just like a little jagged. I don't know how to describe it. I don't... So I think, like, the best way to describe it would be... The PS2 version looks, like, smudged. And this version just looks a little, like, spiky. In the most generic terms I can possibly use here. Oh, that's right. I've got new guns coming up. Uh, the Suck Cannon. A classic. Spitting Hydra. I don't really like any of these weapons. Um, so we'll just keep holding on. The only time that weapons start to become an issue is when you start running into ammo issues. Um, because... Uh, that's going to be the, the main road blocker. Is... Uh, once, uh, especially for longer campaigns, I think you really f start feeling it at the uh, the deathmatch arenas. So you like switch between like three weapons and like just keep running out of ammo. I keep holding left stick to sprint and R two to shoot because that's what I was doing with uh, uh that's what I was just doing in Avengers. I feel like I'm one of the seven people in the world playing the Marvel Avengers game. Uh, I picked it back up on a whim. I was, uh, I was struggling to find a game to get back into, and, uh, like, I was, I should be playing Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy, but for some reason it's not, it's, it's not scratching the itch for me, I don't know what it is, it's not, I don't think it's a bad game, and I do think I'll enjoy it, it's just like, speaking of ammo problems, um, what's the best way to describe it, um, it feels like, it's too back-to-back -back action -y. Like, for instance, let's let's use Ratchet Clank as an example. Um, I think the level design in this game, and all of these games, is very good because it's very paced. So, like, yeah, we're gonna fight a couple enemies here, maybe even a few waves, uh, but then, you know, we have a little bit of time where it's like, okay, before I move over there, well, first, let's sh he's shooting at me, so let's oh, don't go off the edge. Okay. Um, so we have a little bit of time before we go over there. Maybe we uh, maybe explore a little bit. Maybe we look over here. I think there's some hidden stuff here. Yeah, there's a titanium bolt. I don't remember how to get that one. Um, I think actually, I think I fucked up. I think you need the boxes. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it was. I think you need to not destroy the boxes to get up there. I might be able to do this. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, maybe. Oh, it, maybe I think there's a hidden way over there. I think you need the spider drone or something. That's in this game, right? I didn't make that up. Or is that in two? Maybe I go around here. Nope, that's in this wall. Um, I can try and make the jump. I don't think I can make it over there. No. Like a little bit of a this wall. There. Yeah, there's clearly something. Something I'm missing over there. Oh, maybe it's from that side. Now that I investigate again. Um... But yeah, I just like couldn't, it's just, it's too non-stop action-y. Oh, here we go. Um, for, uh, I really didn't remember this part, that's weird. I like really, really didn't remember this being here. Um, but yeah, too non-stop action-y in uh, Stranger of Paradise, where it's just like, bam, 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 bam. Whereas this, like, you know, there's some bam, but also I can go around and look for a collectible and stuff like that. I also find the levels to be very, very linear and like cramped. I think that's probably part of it too. I really feel like they're cramped in that game. Like, it's all just a bunch of, like, small, close quarter corridors. And, uh, it's throwing me off. Where am I? Did I just, like, whip around and turn around? I guess I did. Did I mean to do that? No. Wait, what? Where am I? Why am I over here now? I think I got turned around somewhere. Um. So, uh, it's not the worst. It's just, uh. I just need to be in the right mindset for it. Whereas Avengers is, like, kind of open world. It's, like, semi-open world is the way I would describe it. Hey, we're going to be fighting over there in a little bit. 
I think. Maybe. Or I didn't air it. Um, but yeah, also, I liked that as a kid. I wouldn't have like thought anything of, of it, of that like little corner there. But as a seasoned game player now, I'm like, no. I, <laughs> that's obviously a secret area. Um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, so this, uh, so Avengers hit in the spot. I realized I wasn't as far away from the Platinum as I thought I was. They've, uh, they've done some quality of life updates. Like, they changed the uh, crafting system and gear crafting, where, like, they simplified it. There used to be, like, a bunch of different uh, materials that you would need to craft different things, and now you only need, like, I don't know, um, three materials. You need basic fragments, which are just, like, uh, essentially the currency in that game. Uh, and then upgrade cube things, and then, uh, there's, like, Polychron, I think is what it's called, for, like, the major artifact upgrading. But regardless, what I'm trying to say is, like, there's only three currencies, and two of them are, like, everywhere. Especially since you can break down your gear for those currencies. So, like, I'm literally maxed on the middle one. Because I just don't need it. <laughs> so, that's so not too bad. Um, it's definitely much more accessible, I think, now than it was before. If it ever comes to PS Plus or uh, Game Pass or PS Now or whatever, Spartacus, whatever the new system is, uh, I would definitely recommend giving it a shot. I think the story on, on its own is very good. I know they're they're trying to be a games as a service which uh, system, which is never great. Like, I'm not really a fan of like Destiny and games like that. So, like, which this is, I think is closest to from the little bit I played of Destiny. But uh, it's not. Uh, I don't think it's bad. I think it got a really bad rap at launch because there were so many eyes on it. Because it's an Avengers game, of course, there's eyes on it. Nice. Um, but yeah, it's a. Uh, that one wasn't as funny as the last ones. I think it got a really bad rap because people were like, oh, an Avengers game, that's so cool, I can't fucking wait, dude. Uh, which is understandable, don't get me wrong. Um, but like, between like the demos not really showing off the best of its capabilities to the some of the early stuff, it just, I get, I get it. The fact that they were leaking IP addresses at one point, which is the stupidest fucking thing you could do. But uh, I am enjoying it. Um, and I really thought I would only like like one character. Like I would I would just play one character and kind of stick to them. I thought that was what happened, or what would happen. Uh, it didn't. Uh, the characters I'm using the most, I'm using Iron Man as my main, which isn't that surprising, I'm a huge Iron Man fan. But uh, I feel like he like is it feels like you're playing Iron Man really well. Like his his move set is really well done. Um, so I'm playing Iron Man mostly. Uh, my secondary is Spider Man, um, who I really wasn't super liking at first because just I feel like he lacked a lot of power. But uh, I have a couple things set up with him now. So like Spider Man is unique in that there's a takedown system in that game after you like deal enough like stagger damage or whatever to him. Spider-Man uh, has his own meter, and if he can use takedowns on people that haven't built their stagger up, so basically if you do enough damage to people without getting hit, you can just do takedowns. Um, and I made it so that every time Spider-Man does a takedown, he, uh, he has a high chance of dropping, or I think a guaranteed chance, um, of dropping a heroic orb, which charges your like, superpowers. So, like, basically, Spider-Man can do takedowns all the fucking time. And I made it so, like, I'm constantly using my, like, special abilities. Like, I'm, I just, like, have, like, max charge for them at almost all times. Which has made him feel pretty broken. But that is not how I felt for a very long time. He, uh... He felt kind of, like, neutered for a while. So, I appreciate that I got it working. Um... But yeah, it's good. Would recommend it. Um, at this point... Because I played it almost exactly a year ago. I played through the campaign for the first time. And the, again, I wanted, I kind of skipped over this. I do think the campaign is good enough like to warrant trying it out. If you can get it on sale for like 20 bucks, uh, the campaign is 100% worth it just for that. Like you don't even have to play like any of the post-game stuff. Um, but uh, if you try for, like if you like find that you're liking it, it's not too bad. I think the Platinum is much easier than it used to be. There's still, like, 
pretty much every trophy that I had an issue with when I first played it, uh, or like looks daunting, is now easier. Um, there's one for getting 250 total levels between characters, and I believe when the game launched there were only six characters, so that would mean you'd have to get like five of them to level 50, which is the max, or like, you know, get everyone to close to level 40, I'm not going to do the math. <laughs> Then they added Kate Bishop, then they added Hawkeye, uh, then they added Spider-Man, or, uh, Black Panther, then Spider-Man, so now there's ten characters. Um, so one of the trophies requires you to get someone to max level, so assume you have a character level 50. And then you basically have to get all the other characters to roughly level 20. Which really isn't hard at all. So that part's much easier now. Uh, the max level gear is much easier now because they changed the gear system, um, and the max level artifact and stuff. The only one that's like still kind of annoying, uh, and you won't get like natural progression, is do 50 hives, which are basically like wave-based combat. But like, none of the in-game missions ever like make you do hives, so like you kind of have to like go out of your way to do them, which is a little annoying. But uh, you know, it's it's cool. Some of the customization uh, customization stuff in there is really cool. Like obviously they've like slowly been trickling out like the movie skins. That's like the first thing people are gonna fucking ask for. And I don't blame them, I was the same way. I actually think the movie skins aren't as good as a lot of the other skins. Um, because like they look like the movies are very stylized in the movie itself, but when you take them out, they look a little uh a little darker, like a little uh grittier. So I don't think they they pop as much. It's still pretty cool though. Um how long have I been talking about Avengers for? About 12 minutes? Okay. Uh, I don't really like these. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I'll probably get the platinum for that. That'll be 199. I still... Uh, it's really troubling. I want to get the Bleach game for my 200th platinum. But like... It's so much. It's... It's so much. <laughs> There's so much grinding. It's not as bad as I thought as a kid. I, I can admit that. Um, I think there's an overheating meter, but if you just click the button instead of holding it, it doesn't trigger it. Um, but yeah, I... <laughs> I just don't... I don't know. Like, I'm fine trying for the Bleach one. It's just going to take up so much of my time. I might use it when I'm, like, trying to fall asleep. Like, I'll just do some mindless grinding. Um... Like, you know, late at night. Because that'll kind of put me to sleep. I only have ten more characters, I think, that I have to do every mission with and max level. Uh, a lot of, so, of those ten, roughly half of those, or not even half, probably like a third of those, are already, pretty, like, halfway to max level because I had to use them in the story missions and you had to S rank and play on all the story missions on very hard. So those ones I got strong enough so that I'd be able to breeze through those. Um, but then there's a bunch of, like, villains that you don't play in the story that are at, like, level, like, 1 out of 175. So, not super stoked about that, if I can be honest. Not level 1, but they're, like, level, like, 20. Like, super low, where everyone else is level, like, 70 to 100. So it's not as much of a trek. It won't be too bad, it's just I don't know if it's feasible to make my 200th. It's definitely my plan right now. Because I want it to be, I want my 200th to be, because when I like look at PSN profiles and stuff, it'll show you your 200, like that'll be permanently like on the right hand side. So I want it to be something I like, um, but I don't know, I, I just don't really want to. <laughs> it just seems like a lot of grinding, but I don't have any other, uh, I don't really have any other options. I didn't really prepare any other, uh any other games to be my potential 200. There's none that like are really like as special to me that I haven't already gotten. Um, there were definitely a couple games I probably could have tried to save. Like I originally planned to save Hades to be my 200th because I really like Hades. But uh, I when I had the Bleach idea, I was like, okay, well I'll play Hades before that, so I'll get the second Hades Platinum as like 197 or 198, which I did, and now I'm like, shit, I probably should just done Hades for my 200th. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Um, I just want it to be like a game that like is, like I want it to be platinum that is challenging. 
Uh, but also it's a game I like, which is why Bleach kind of fits there. I don't know though. I feel like there are better games. The other alternative is me just like start. I like I can just keep working on it and play other games in the meantime. But like, just don't platinum any of them, which is fine. That's like it's not hard not to platinum stuff uh, something, but it does mean I have to like vaguely be careful because while doing this to just like add challenge to this, I'm also uh, <laughs> I'm also maintaining a trophy streak. I think I have. Uh, what do I have? Oh, they don't, they don't get killed here, do they? Um, so I'm on... I'm over 500 days in a row. I know that. I don't remember what my exact number is. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I've had a trophy streak going for a while now. And uh, so, like, it, by trophy streak, I mean I've gotten at least one trophy a day for over 500 days. <laughs> Which is impressive, and I, it's daunting. But... It's one of my. It's. I don't really have anyone to compete against with trophies. Um. And what I mean by that is, I don't really have. Um, uh. uh <laughs> thanks. Thanks, tutorial. Oh, this is the first game where they made it so you don't have to like follow the bolt. I think in the original games you had to like, as Ratchet's going around, you had to like rotate the stick in the same way Ratchet was. Um, but starting, I think starting in this game, you only just have to like hold it in a direction. I'm just holding it to the right, and Ratchet will turn it right. There's sometimes where like I'll go back to uh, I'll like start playing one of those games for a while, I should say. When I start playing the other games, uh, I would like um, instinctually go back to trying to do it the old way, and then my brain would be like, "What am I doing? He's not helping me." Although I think it still works in this game. I think you can still uh, go around. Yeah, because I'm like going around on the analog stick right now. I think this game made it so like as long as you're moving the analog stick, it counts. Which is fine. I remember this mission giving me a lot of trouble as a kid. Especially with no armor. Because um, uh, there's just so many enemies in it. Once you get more turrets, it's a little, it's a little easier. The big thing is you have to dodge the guys um, with the big laser beams, and you have to dodge the little tiny pteranoids because they uh, they'll jump up on you pretty quickly. Maybe it's because I like as a kid I would try and rush to the to the bolts and just do them as fast as possible. Whereas now, as an, as an intelligent adult, I'm like, no, take care of the enemies first, obviously. Oh, I am getting kind of rocked here. I think that uh, that max level health upgrade did some fucking wonders for me. Can I make it before this tyranny gets to me? Okay. Good amount of money for that. Agent Clank. Bill Clinton, you're President. You're very short. Even person than you are on the Holovid, and I must say I've never seen a chauffeur fight like you do. So <laughs> who says you can't find good help these days, right? I love, <laughs> I love it. She's told me a lot about you. Don't get any ideas, kid. She is way out of your league. <clears throat> Sasha filled me in on the uh, Quark situation. I'm told the man thinks he's a monkey. <laughs> I'm told the man thinks he's a monkey? Well, then you'll simply have to find it for him. We need our star player back in the game ASAP. Is that understood? Yes, yes sir. My daughter tells me you're a man who's good with his hands. <laughs> sir, I, I swear I never... The city's laser shield went down during the attack. Now, we are defenseless without it. I sent out a repairman to fix it, but, but he disappeared. Oh, it's Al. It's That's right. Shield system <laughs> yes, sir. I forgot about this. Um, so then you go to the laser defense. I think this introduces the uh, refractor, which, when it comes to the gadgets and puzzle-like things, this is one of my favorites from the series. I find it's uh, pretty intuitive. Intuitive is the wrong word. I like the uh, I like how interactive it is compared to some of the other gadgets, which are just like kind of glorified puzzles. I think there's a skill point for killing a certain number of people with a refractor, but I'm actually not sure. Hold on, I actually haven't looked at the skill points. Stay squeaky clean. Yeah, that's for not getting damaged. Uh, strive for arcade perfection. Beat Helga's best time. Oh, that's right. This one is for uh. Uh, beating the courses in under a certain amount of time, I think, on on all those. Turn up the heat. I don't remember. I know monkeying around. 
Um, reflect on how to score. I think that's what this one is. Let me look them up. Because I've done these a while. If they gave a description on how to do them, I'd do them. It's the, the far, part about the skill points I don't like is that they're hidden. Like if they just told me what to do, I'd be able to do them easier. Did I get a trophy last time? No, I didn't. I still gotta get a trophy today. It's fine. Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. How many platinums do I have in the Ratchet and Clank series? Uh, Crack in Time, one, two, three, deadlocked into the Nexus uh, remake. So that's seven right there. Seven right there. Then I got Ratchet and Clank one, two, and three on the Vita. So that's ten, and then Rift Apart is eleven. I don't have Full Frontal Assault or All for One. Um, I tried for full, full Parental Assault for a while, and I kind of gave up. I wasn't really super into the gameplay. Up your arsenal. Let's see. Um, how many trophies are there for this? Where does this tell me a number here? 33 trophies. Um, and some of them aren't related to skill points. So most of these are skill points, but not all of them, it looks like. Let me see. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, wait, I'm not on our radio. Um, just, uh, for the vector gadget on my one. Snowman skin. I want the million pulse. Destroy the blimp. All right, I remember that one. Uh, hit the jackpots. Jump up on the asteroid belt. Convert fifteen blood flies. And oh, get every sewer crystal. Jesus. Complete any gauntlet challenge without taking any damage. That's easy enough. Complete all eight. Destroy all underwater crates on planet Aquatos. 25. Oh, here we go. Kill 25 enemies with the refractor in Marcadia. 25? That's so many. Why? <laughs> all right. I'll go for it, though. I will say, uh... Props to the, uh... Props to the frame rate. It's been, uh, it's been holding on. So, to kill enemies, the refractor, you need to essentially do this. Um, you step in a laser, and you line it up. Uh, this is much easier to do with strafing. Uh, oh! And you can only do it from this part. You can't do it if you, uh, like for instance, this part doesn't count. You don't create a beam when you do this. So you have to be from like, the red part. You can manually aim this. Uh, oh, I don't think that counted. Because they walked in the laser on their own. Uh, you can manually um, aim with this uh, if you need to. And I think I need to for the puzzle at some point. Like, wee! And that, you know, that helps, but I like just like kind of shimmying around. It's faster. You can do all these puzzles just by shimmying, I think. But, uh, yeah, this will give an example here. Oh, that's gonna make it annoying for me. I don't know why, but these these bolt cranks are such a dumb puzzle mechanic, but I love them. Uh, hold on. Nope. I need to make sure I kill you. Not the laser. I think I can warp back here if I don't get all the kills here. I don't know that there are 25 the first time. Luckily, this stuns them as well. So you get a better shot at them. I missed the, the box breaker. You don't, you don't know what you miss until it's gone. Oh, frames? A little bit? No. Just me? Okay. Oh, this is going to be annoying. Well, maybe not too bad. Maybe aiming is OP. I know there are tiny guys there. Maybe I bumped him into him. Well, that was an accident, but I'll take it. <laughs> There's a couple uh, hidden puzzles here that you have to do with these to find like hidden items and stuff. I don't remember how many there are total, but it's a lot. I do love the tear noises as a villain, though. They're only in this game, um, but I do think they're very, very funny. I like their design. They're like very classic alien, I feel like. like these are what like I'd imagine an alien would look like. Why don't you get hidden or fall on the wall? I just heard you try and bite. Maybe? Oh, excuse me, sir. There should be a 
E. One, two, three. Yeah, so you have to manually aim here. You have to get the little spider to go to the spider symbol. Spider bot, spider bot, does whatever a spider bot. Maybe the spider bot's in two. I don't think it's, uh, it's like a controllable spider that you can, like, attack with. It's based on the Visibomb, which is, a uh, a weapon from Ratchet Clank 1. That was not brought back, I don't think. Maybe it was. I haven't played the remake in a while. Uh, but it's based on the Visibomb. Uh, but just, like, kind of a better version of it. Alright, everyone. I know I'm getting eaten, but I gotta get these guys way off. Hey! Reflect on how to score. It even shows a little trophy pop up. That's awesome. That's cool. I like that the uh, the emulator does that. This is the first like modern emulator, I guess. So like they have to make sure. I wonder if the is there a 360 emulator and does it give achievements? I did see some uh, some comments being like, "I wish you could link your account so that you can earn the trophies for real." I'm like, why? <laughs> why would you risk losing every trophy you have or something like that? That seems silly. Uh, I wouldn't want that. It's kind of like, uh, you could hack the Vita. Oh, what am I doing here? There's some strange stuff going on here. I don't know that I can hit that from here. I think I need the Magna Boots to do this. Yeah, I think you have to come back here later with the Magna Boots to get a couple. Yeah, that's, that's a, uh, that's for sure a Magna Boost, uh, or Gravity Boots, whatever they're called in this one. Um ramp. So there's like another puzzle here that I can't unlock yet. That's fine. Can I even hit this one? It's not going to let me. Yeah, it looks like it doesn't let you hit it so that you don't mess up. Yeah, there's a couple times you have to go back um, to different areas in this game. Which is fine. There's not that many. I think there's like 15, give or take. I don't know the exact number. Um, but it's like roughly 15. Uh, also, when you're doing the section, don't, like, pull your wrench out if you don't have to, because your wrench disables a little field around, um, that protects you from the lasers, so it's, like, much safer just to, like, wear the lasers so you can walk through all the hazards. Yeah, here's another grab boot thing with the platinum bolt I can't reach. It's one of those ones where it's, like, you can see it early on. I wonder if there's anyone, like, <laughs> it's like, how? How do I get up there? How? It's like, you don't. You come back later. The shields up yet? Pilot, I am concentrating. What the? That's a Quark vid comic. Excuse me. It is a historically accurate interactive graphic novel. <laughs> How can you use the city's defense network to play a video game? Simple. I bypassed the security server with a 626 hex matrix adapter and reprogrammed a graphic sub processor. No, no, I mean it's. Uh, uh. Clank, you speak good, nerd. It appears you have a feedback loop in the induction coils of your DB3 signal processor. Impossible! I ran a recursive checksum on the signal matrix. Hey, there is a feedback loop. I don't know what for, uh, for those who didn't play the original Ratchet Clank, um, Treat it gently. It is the first edition. Al is the one who first gives, uh, first gives Clank his, uh, his helipad upgrade. I think he also gives the thruster pack upgrade? Or maybe that's someone else. I don't remember how it works. There might be three different vendors, because you get the thruster pack, the hydro pack, and the uh, the helipad. I, th I want to say Al moves to Pokotaru, which is where you get the thruster pack, and that's where you, um, you get it. But it also might just be his older brother or something. <laughs> I actually don't remember. Fake fan. Um... But yeah, he, uh, he's a recurring character. Um, I like Al. I don't think they brought back any of the other vendors. If there are, t I know there's definitely a woman who gives you the Hydra pack. I don't remember who gives you the third one, though. Or the thruster pack, though. If it's not Al, uh, neither of those characters come back. Al is the only one to, uh, to make a reappearance. Al's also a big part of, uh, Deadlocked. He's like your, uh, uh, kind of your advisor. He, like, works with Clank. I don't remember how he ends up there, though. weapons. <laughs> Maybe this is my least favorite part of, uh... 
Yeah, I'm missing two. Do I want to go back to Florana right now and try that again? Let's do it once. Just to... Just because. Uh, I can go a little longer this time because I don't have any plans after this. I was uh, I had to hurry the first part because of a uh, Mario Party stream. Um, but yeah, I um, if you couldn't tell from my eleven platinums in this series, I do really really like Ratchet and Clank. Ironically, I think I have more in this series than I do in Jack. And I guess it's not ironic, but um, I have more than a uh, in Jack and Daxter. Jack and Daxter was ported to. PS3, Vita, and PS4. I don't know why Sly Cooper and Ratchet and Clank weren't ported to PS4. Um, oh, this looks like a shortcut to get back here, which is cool. Yeah, I don't know why they weren't ported to uh, to PS4, but so there are nine Platinums you can get for the Jack series, uh, and I have nine of them. I guess you can get more, because I think Jack X was also ported to PS4. I don't think it was in PS3, though. It might have been. Um... I did not. I never played Jack X growing up, and I had no desire to play it uh, as an adult, so I just didn't. Um, I I, uh, I vetoed that one. I think the worst part of Jack Three is the racing uh, and all of the vehicle stuff. Like it's fine once in a while, but they rely on it way too much in that game. Um, so I just chose not to. Blah, blah, blah. Oop, that one almost got me. <coughs> Just using the uh, the Lancer because I need to upgrade it. Or whatever it's called in this game. The N60 Storm or something. Nope. Okay. Getting, uh, getting reckless. Okay. That was closer than it should have been. Alright. Here comes the worst part. I still don't really have a good strategy to get around this. I have not memorized the patterns. It doesn't go in like a perfect like four thing pattern like it should. Uh, okay. I didn't memorize the whole pattern there, but I memorized enough to vaguely know where I was going. A stay squeaky clean. Once I got past that uh that annoying fire part, it was the rest was pretty easy. I don't know if I'll uh, if I'll do a platinum for this uh for this playthrough. It'd be cool to have a platinum on an emulator. That's something I don't have. Um, but that's one of the ones like even as a kid I knew to get that one. So like it bothered me I didn't have it. <laughs> That one, like, in particular, I was like, I know I can get that. I got that as a kid. Um, I think there's one, or there's there's five titanium bolts tied to each of the Quark Bid comics. I don't know if that's, uh, if they're skill point related. I can go for them. So there's, like, different, um... How does this work? They give you different um, uh, skill point or blah, 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 blah. the Helga's training thing. I'll do one of them right now. They give you different training based on the gadgets you have, I think. Or this is the Phoenix VR deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's warm up. There's basically just arena stuff, but like with no reward, or the reward is very, very low. Cool thing about this is these uh these are Gadgetron bots from uh Ratchet Clank 1 and they use weapons that aren't in this game. But are in fact in the older games. They have the Walloper and the Flamethrower. The Walloper is uh the punching limb. Yeah, that's sure they there they go. That was uh that was a weapon you could use in uh in Ratchet Clank 1. Didn't make a ton of sense to have a melee weapon when you have the wrench, but you know. Teach their own. I don't think you get that much experience. You get a little bit, but I don't think you get very much experience here. They sound like, uh, like Jetson sound effects. But yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty brain dead. That's why I usually just don't, don't bother doing them. Uh, truthfully, I don't remember the exact, uh, um, 
don't remember the exact things you need here. Don't look down. Oh, this is the first uh, one, yeah. Yeah, I don't remember what these are. If I have to go through this for trophies and I decide on like a platinum playthrough, I'll do those later. I do not need them right now. It's Quark. Watch and learn, Clank. This is how a real hero gets it done. I'm not normally one for side scrollers. These are the real but uh, I think this one's fun. Captain Quark, the greatest superhero the galaxy has ever known. Hey, this thing on? <clears throat> Meticulously reconstructed <laughs> by our crack research team with the aid of eyewitness accounts, bathroom gossip, wild speculation, <laughs> and a magic eight ball. In the early days of the fifth Solarian equinox, the Solana galaxy was terrorized by a notorious pirate known as Captain Blackstar. Ahoy! Anybody else got a craving for fish and chips? <laughs> Though still in the prime of his youth, Captain Quark <laughs> was already a living legend. I was beating him up with a stick. However, no previous adventure could have prepared Quark for his encounter with the dread pirate Blackstar and his crew of... Oh, please tell me this is a typo. That's robotic pirate ghost. <laughs> yes, reading wasn't your subject, eh, Professor? <laughs> right. Now we begin with the robotic pirate ghost. Episode 1. Booty is in the eye of the beholder. They had too much fun making these. Oh, the music is so good in this. Maybe it's to do it without getting hit. I don't remember what the, uh... Oh, uh, maybe it's for collecting all tokens. That might be it. That's right. You get the, the titanium bolts for getting all the tokens. Which I will be doing. And you get a bonus based on if you, uh... If you do the time fast enough, I think. I have done this level a lot. And I still will not remember where everything is, I promise. I know there's checkpoints, too. Alright, 46 out of 100. That's a good start. I know that's how many, exactly how many there are in the beginning. Okay, 59. The first level should be easy enough. I know there's a couple secret areas of uh, later levels. They're not tied to enemies or anything, so you can largely just like run past enemies if you want to. My first blaster. I'm running out of bullets. Bully, bully. Oh, I'm not actually supposed to fight it yet. Okay. That makes sense. Alright, Nick, please. So you can't hit these things, these little, like, floating ghosts. But you can usually shoot ahead and then run after your bullet to the point where an enemy spawns. There are a couple checkpoints. I don't know where they are. I think checkpoints do affect your time. Ugh. Need that. 89 out of 100. Good, good, uh, good start. You can see the, um, the timer start to turn, like, a darker gray if it means you're making bad time. Which, if you're going for all the tokens, you likely will be making bad time. Even though uh, you do get a bonus based on how many tokens you get. It's like a multiplier. Oh, I didn't believe. I thought it was going to move away. I should have believed myself. Three more. Where is it? Oh, shit. Damn it. I remember how often the checkpoints are. How many checkpoints there are here. I think they're usually pretty okay. I don't remember where the target time is for this one. I got a titanium bolt, because I got all of them, because I'm a fucking pro gamer. Warren, Warren. And then this gives you a power, or a health upgrade, that's right. I think there's some hidden in some of the levels. That one, they kind of give to you. Nope. Gotta wait for more blasters. I think if you run out of ammo, they force spawn another one. Or I guess it's every so often. My blaster runs hot.
think he gets faster too. Ah! Alright, one more should be enough. I don't think the level ends until you get the last, like, token thing. There we go. What's my score? That didn't feel like a good score. I think the first time you do it, you get more bolts, too. Oh, idiot. I just realized something. Microphone audio on I mean, in OBS that whole time. Real, Great. Son, but this one takes a cake. Pirate. Robots. What do they think? We're idiots? Oh. Hey, Professor, snap to it. <clears throat> that audio mixing Once on that again, may be questionable. The citizens of the Solana Galaxy owed their lives to the dauntless courage of the remarkable man behind the queue. With great reluctance, Quark accepted a meager fee for his <laughs> services and promptly donated the entire sum to the Quark for Tots Scholarship Fund. A charity <laughs> providing makeovers and buxom bimbos for needy people. Named Quark. I've got a big hug. <laughs> Mr. President? Yes, I got the fruit basket. Thanks. It turns out I'm allergic to prunes. Yeah, who knew? What? Blackwater City's under attack. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. The exciting dickhead. All true right <clears throat> adventures of Captain Quark continue in episode two. Ah. This is flashbacks to cutscenes from 1 and 2. <laughs> well, who's that handsome devil? It appears Quark has regained his memory. Hey, this dressing room isn't fit for a pig. What kind of shoddy production are you people running? That's him, all right. He may need a while to adjust. In the meantime, I love how, I've got that there's a, there's some people who can detect Quark's bullshit and some who can't. Of a prototype holographic device that can oh, that's right. Tier guys. Even allowing him to speak Tyranese. <laughs> Is it just me or do you smell bananas? Anyway, <laughs> the device happens to be the grand prize on this week's Annihilation Nation. Check it out. I always love that they always uh, introduce these things. Tonight on Annihilation Nation, we feature an all new Death Course. Death Course. Death Let's Course. Meet victim. Oops, I, mean, I think the they did the same thing in two. Fred. They would like show like an innocent person Fred trying to do these things. Who claims he once had a morphal ray go off in his pants. What a chance. <laughs> Let's take a look at what he's up against. Doesn't look too bad now, does it? Good luck, Fred! <laughs> Next! I've always liked that. Another day, another death course. But I've always thought it's insane that he gets destroyed immediately, because I'm like, there's not even any obstacles there. Um, Alright, we, uh, we can wrap up there. I'm a little annoyed to find out there were some audio issues. It's always worse when you find out in the video. Um, but if the audio sounds a little weird, what might happen is I might have to mute the game audio, uh, which is going to be, or like put it very, very quiet. So it might have to be a little quiet, or there might be a slight echo to my voice. I'm not sure how I'm going to fix it yet. It depends on how bad it is. Um, but if it sounds weird, that's why. Usually I catch that within the first 10 minutes or so. I just didn't really notice it this time. Um, but uh, yeah. So uh, thank you. Ooh, got new colors. Hold on. Well, Bonnie Orange just looks a lot like the red, but worse. I think the, this red is more of an orange, in my opinion. Um, Lowrider. This hair looks not bad. I don't like the like white streaks, though. It looks like a shark gummy, like one of those generic candies that sell like CVS and stuff. I'll keep uh, purple for now. There are some cool colors later on. Let's, uh, let's head on over to an Annihilation Nation, and then we'll, uh, we'll end the video there. So there's Annihilation Nation in, uh, I'm sorry, in uh, previous games, or a previous game in Ratchet Clank 2, they introduced the, uh, the, the battle plex mechanic, and there are two different battle plexes in that game. Uh, in this game, there's only one throughout the game, and they also introduced death courses, which are just like the stuff that we did before going to fight Quark. Um, I think they're cool. 
I think like just like Jack 3, which came out at roughly the same time as this, they were like, oh, what if we made a spin-off game based on that one mechanic? And I don't think it came it was as good. It's very funny. What I like about these is that they do slowly start to respect him, I think, both in this one and in, in two. They start to, uh, they slowly, slowly start to, uh, to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like, acknowledge that Ratchet's a very good fighter. Alright, we're gonna call it there. So thank you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.